Hello everyone. How's everyone doing today? Let's move that. Hello, I am Robin Shaw and I am an English teacher and if this is your first time, welcome. I do a live stream uh, every night, if you can believe that. Okay, I'm just adjusting the camera. That looks better. Okay. So, welcome everyone to game night. We're going to play a game and uh, the game is called Word Scramble and I'll, I'll talk about the rules in a bit. Uh, if you're new, check out all of my information. As you can see, I do a live stream every night. Uh, today is Saturday, so we do games. Uh, we'll, the game I prepared tonight, uh, is, it's a little bit difficult maybe. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. So every Saturday I try to do a different game. I'm just testing out what kind of games work. Uh, some games are popular, some games are not popular. And then tomorrow, I'm going to do the grammar lesson on prepositions. I'm going to talk about prepositions tomorrow. It's going to be a very important uh, lesson tomorrow. So probably the most important lesson I've taught so far on this channel. So don't miss uh, tomorrow's lesson. All right, I'm just going to see the chat here to see who's here and say hello, Prakar and Lila. Ari, Diallo, hello, hello. And that's it. Only you guys are. Oh, Jose Silva, Kanyazi, Peace is here. Hello, Peace. You're in my uh, WhatsApp group. Let's see. Reina, Jumi, hello, Fanny, Tika, ST, who is ST? Hello, ST. Do I know you, ST? Atika, Tikar. <laughs> Mamie, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Omani, Anfell's here. Oh, lots of people are uh, jumping in. Sadiq is here. Wins here. Dakshina Morthy's back. Oh, Monty, I know I'll lose, but anyway, anyway, just come here to play. Hey. Ujwal Sankar is back. Heng Tong, Hamza. All right, if uh, Ziad's here. Hello. Hello, guys. Hello, all. Kiramat Shah. Hello, my teacher. Nice to meet you. I'm listening to you now, and I won't miss your tomorrow lecture on prepositions. Prepositions. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Kiramat Shah. And if you saw last night, I added a new part. Support. This channel is growing, and there's many ways to support. Uh, I, as I said, I do this for free. Uh, I, I don't make any money from this, but I want to hire other teachers. I want to hire British teachers, female teachers, all kinds of different accents, and I want them all doing live streams. But to do that, uh, I need support because they don't do it for free. Uh, so if you enjoy these live streams and you want the live streams to continue, please think about supporting uh, of course, you can support through this, that's the money section, or if you don't have money, uh, remember to like the videos, comment, not just the chat, but underneath the videos, and uh, share the videos. So, if you like it, try to bring more of your friends in. Okay, so if you enjoy this, think about supporting. The structure of... The live streams, of course, this is the introduction part. We're going to go into the topic, 
which is a game tonight, which is not, it's more of a game, not really a topic. And then after, I always do an English Q&A, which is, if you got any English questions, you can ask me and I will try to answer. I will try to answer. I don't always promise to give you a perfect answer, but I will try. And I see a uh, lofty, lofty guy is back. Hi, hi. I'm going to ask, who is new? Who is new tonight? Well, it's tonight for me. Who's new today? If, if this is your first time, let me know. If you're watching and you want to participate in the chat, which is very important to participate, you've got to log into your YouTube account to join the chat room. And I suggest you do, everyone who's watching. Do -do 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 -do. Okay. All right, the game. The game. The game today. Are you guys ready for the game? Peace. It's the first time. Thank you, Peace, for telling me. Are you really ready for the game? Yeah, you guys are ready. Okay, so the game <laughs> it's called Word Scramble. And here, let's get to the rules. So this is the most important part of the live stream, guys, because I am explaining rules. I'm, I'm cut off the screen. I'm explaining rules, so you got to listen and you got to understand the rules. So, uh, oh, Kira, Matt, I'll add, I'll answer the English questions after the game. So I am going to give you uh, letters. I'm going to give you letters, just letters. And what I want you to do is to try, try to make the biggest word you can. Okay, and then the person who makes the biggest word, of course, is the winner of that round. Uh, you can only use the letters in the word, and you need correct spelling, of course, of the word. So I'll give you, I'll do an example in a moment. So I'll give you letters, and then you try to make the, you try to pick letters to make the biggest word you can, and the person with the biggest word is the winner. Now, I don't want you to cheat. Uh, there's some ways you can cheat, but I'm not going to tell you how you can cheat, but really I just, it's more for you to try and, uh, exercise your mind in English and spelling. All right. So let's go to the first example. So you can see down here, I'm giving you some letters. Now with those letters, you have to make a word and there's one word there's always one word that uses all letters, but you guys might not get that. So which, what words can you get here? Oh, right. hang tongs really fast. Yeah, hang tong got pizza. Uh, but this one's easy, <laughs> hang tong. So this is just the example. So what other words are here? You could say uh, zip, zap, uh, um, and that's about it. So you, if you can't get the, the big word, you want to try and make the biggest word you can. So Amani, you put uh, Zoom or information, that doesn't work. You have to use the letters uh, here. And of course, the biggest word you can make with those letters is pizza. Let's try another word. Well, this is not a word. These are just letters. So what are the biggest words you can get with these letters? Uh, 
Hang Tong. And you guys are, are getting the the easy ones. But Hang Tong, are you cheating? You seem a little fast. All right, so the biggest word is orange, but what are some other words you can get from that? So Ziad, anger, good, ran, Omani, there's no glasses there. <laughs> On, yes, range, that's a good one. Range, peace got range. Con, or I see orange. We already got orange con, cause uh, Hang Tong is. Uh, I don't know if he's cheating. One, yes. Grown, yes. Good. Eager. E. Well, see with e eager. That's interesting. But let's say you could only use the the letter once and gore all right like that aggregate no you can't use aggregate all right i gotta so of course the biggest word you could get was orange they're gonna get more difficult hang tong if you get everyone i'm gonna i'm gonna suspect you're cheating All right, this is the third one. There, here are the letters. Which word can you make from three? Cat. So cat, cats is the biggest word. Ziad got, okay, Ziad got the biggest word, which would be uh, castle. How'd you get that, Ziad? All right, Hamza's a little slow. Cats. Salt. Well, that's clever. Kanyazi, salt. Lace, that's also a word. Peace, you got the wrong spelling. Late. Game of Thrones, Black Castle. Castle. Castle is the biggest word, but let, sail, eats. Interesting. Less, you, no, than, than, you can't do lesson from these words. Only use these letters. Oh, tails. That works. Uh, castles, Omani, you can only use the S one time. All right, so we're going to move on here. The biggest word was castle with uh, Ziad. Seat, oh, steel. No, there's no there's no L, Reina. Oh, yes, there is. Steel, S-T-E-A-L. Wow, that's a good one. Steel. Cats. Taste. All right, I'm going to go on to word four. The next word. What words can you make from these letters? For word four. Ziad, are you cheating? Hamza, net, rent, Raina's concert, Ziad, no, I swear, Ziad, if you get the next one, I'll have to boot you out, because I, this game is very easy to cheat, and I, I want, so if you say you swear, yeah, concert, 
Recon. Recon. That's a good one. Kanyazi. Caught. Con content. Content? Oh, you got to use the N twice for content. It doesn't work. Taco. Well, taco has... There's no A. You need an A for taco. See, yeah, I've told I have a big bunch of words, but I can't use them. What is this? Oh. Toner, corn. That's good. Tenor. That's a good word. Tenor. Tenor. Yeah, that works. That's a good word. Recent. Oh, wow. Uh, but use the E twice for recent. You can only use the letter once. Rent. All right, I got to move on to the next word. So the biggest word there would have been concert, which is uh, Ziad got the... Heng Tong and Ziad are too good at this game. I hope they're not cheating. All right, so word five, we're going to move on. Here's the new letters. So what words can you make from this letter? What's the biggest word you can make from these letters? Scheme. Blog. Blog. That's, can you make something bigger? Peace. Got the word. A Abology? No. Blog ball? Yeah, ball's good. Cool, that's a good one. Log, yeah. Global. Yeah, global is the big word. Bag, ball. Goes? No, there's no E. There's a log. Yippee. Yeah, peace. Good for you. Albeit, no, that doesn't work. You don't have the letters. All right, so the biggest word was global for peace. You got that really fast. Okay, the words are going to get a little more difficult now. So we're going on to words along. Along is good. Glob, goal, global. All right, we're going to move to word six. There's no E for able. Word six. What words, what's the biggest word you can make with these letters? Gene vine? That's interesting. That's not a word. Khan Yazi, I can't see anyone's comments. I don't know what the problem is. Gen genuine? No, that doesn't work. Engine. Engine's really good. Hamza. Okay, Hamza got the word. Evening. Good for you, Hamza. Are you cheating, Hamza? Vegan. There's no A. Gene is a good word. Vine, you can say give. That's a nice word. Nine. Yeah, there's two nines. Or there's two N's to make the nine. That's good. Engine. Yeah, I really liked engine. Uh, Khan and uh, who else said engine? Dakshina Morathy. You guys are clever to say engine. Yeah, but the... Uh, Hamza and yeah oh given that's a good one Omani given and vine you can see vine so yeah the lo the longest possible word was evening evening okay we're gonna go to word seven
you guys are too good. Nobody should get this fast. What, what, what words can you make with these letters? So, Lila, you don't have to get the biggest word, but Lila, what is the biggest word you can make using these letters? Iron. Yeah, that's a good word, Raina. I never thought about that. Iron. Long. Login. Agony. That's not spelling of agony. You need a Y for agony. Ran. Ignore. Ig. No, there's no E for ignore. Rain, that's good. Looting, no, that doesn't work. And then Kiramat Shah, yeah, you got it. How did you get that Kiramat? That's impossible. Rolling, no, you need two L's. Along, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, you guys, you got that. I don't know how you're getting that. Are you guys cheating? So the longest word you could get is original. And Hamza, you said origin. That works too. That's a big word. Oh, Tala Kora Balash. Sir, what's going on? Uh, I'm giving letters. And you just have to try and make, with those letters, you have to try and make the biggest word you, you can. Anglo. Glare. Glare is, uh, you need an E for glare. All right, I'm going to go on to the next word. Here's the next set of letters. Here's the next set of letters. What's the biggest word you can make with those letters? Beer. Well, everyone sees beer. Raina is thinking about beer. Meat. Good. Tika. Meat. So beer and, and meat are four letters. Semester. Hmm. Sem... Oh, there's only one S, Ziad. Pets. Paper, there's no A. Res respect. Respect. No C. No C, lofty guy. So our the biggest word is four letters. Can we get anyone with five letters? Let's. Peers. That's five years. Beepers. Yeah, beepers. So far, Khan Yazi has the biggest word, beepers. I like peers. And then Fahim Khan. Okay, Fahim Khan got the, uh, the big word, stream. There's no A for stream. Tempers. That's an interesting one. T-E-M-P-E-R. Tempers, steeper. All right. Yeah, I think, Hamza, that uh, the students are cheating to look nice. So in the future, I have to change the game uh, to a little bit uh, more difficult. Yeah, so the biggest word you can make there is September. S there's no signing. you got to only use those words. Street? No, street, street. Oh, you're using T twice, than than. Steps, steps. All right, we're going to move on to the next one. And there's no, these are the next letters, and there's no way no, you guys are going to get this really fast. Nightmare doesn't work, Ari. Tenor. 
No, no, no. The new letters. Market. Yep. Market, market, market. Night market doesn't work. Rain. Yeah. All right, Ziad. You got it again, Ziad. Tala Cora Balosh. Rang. Rate. Mark uh, the at that casino, you got two T's. B, uh, grain, grain, grain. Yeah, grain works. Ring market. You're using R twice. Takashina immigrant. Immigrant. That's pretty good. Train, mate, mark, met, regain, regain, yep. What's this word? This is my word. What am I doing? What's that? You can find the letters in the word. What am I doing? Ah, oh, you got the past tense. It's present continue. Oh, thank you, Than Than. Tearing. Good for you, Than Than. And Sema. You guys have to type faster. Than Than typed it really fast. All right, I'm going to go on to the next letters. So the biggest one there was marketing, and a lot of you got that marketing. What's the biggest word you can get from these letters? Buy. Tube. Buy. Tube. And Ziad and Diallo, you got the biggest word. Uh, but there's other words. Buyout. That's pretty good, uh, Fahim. Bout. Buy. Fahim. YouTube. Tutu. There's no tutu. Beauty. Is that? No, there's no A for beauty. There's no A. Out. Tube. YouTube. Same. Uh. Peace. There's no A for beauty. There's no A there. Obey. That's clever. But. Bite. That's a clever one too. Tout. T, there's only one T. Peace. YouTube. Yeah. So the biggest, the biggest you could get from that is YouTube. Everyone has bye, bye, bye. All right. And there's only two left. So let's go into this one. These are the new letters. M. Shahid, hello. Grace is here. Ah, oh, Bin Han is too fast. Brackets. There's no E for brackets. Oh, I was excited about brackets, but you need a C and it, there's no E. Sucks. Yeah, everything sucks. I'm doing well, Shahid. Trucks. That's clever. T-R-U-C-K. Trucks. Hamza Sagbats. Brat. A bad, a bad kid would be a brat. Bat. For grace. Track. Task. Scours, brief. There's no V. Stuck. Rats.
Bucks. Yeah, that can be track cat. What's Bruck been on? Star. There's no... Oh, yeah, there's an R. Star. Starbucks. Star. Truck. Cr crusts? Crusts. Crusts. That's clever, Hamza. Turn. Stars. Cuss. There's no cuss. Trick. There's no I. Burn. Burn. There's no N. Strut. There's only one T. Sucker. There's no E. All right. I'm going to go on to the last. So Starbucks was the biggest you could get. And now let's go on to the last letters. What are the biggest words you can make with this? Oh, come on. You guys are slow now. Okay. Takashina, are you cheating? Slay. That's a good one. English sign. Leg. Nages, I don't know that. Glen is a word. Line, E, sign. Slay. Lady English. Lens, his, yeah, of course, his single. That's a clever one piece. Rija, okay. English, English, English. Okay, so English was the, the biggest one. I tell you, you guys were too quick. And uh, I'm wondering. Uh, it how many, uh, Hamza, it looks like you're cheating. So these guys, uh, a bunch of these guys are cheating. I know that. So if you go to a website like this, and they're typing in the, the words, they can, get in, they can get a lot of uh, other words, or they can unscramble the words. So if I make this game again, I'm going to have to make it really difficult. Lens, that's a good one. Iran Fernandez, hi from Brazil, Robin. I need to remember my questions today. I'm just watching, thanks. Okay, well, the, the game part is over. Uh, so we're over 30 minutes now. I'm going to go into the English Q&A. So if you guys have questions, now is the time to start uh, preparing your questions. Dakshina, you're not cheating? Okay. All it takes is a couple people cheating, and then, I don't know. Uh, anyways, if you guys guessed the letters of the words, or if you guessed the words, good for you. Uh, I saw some, I wasn't necessarily interested in the biggest word, but I was interested in seeing how you guys uh, get, get other words. And I really liked engine, for you, if you guys guessed engine. And Tika's asking how to pronounce castle. 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 All right, it's Q English Q&A. If you have any questions, now is the time to ask questions. Uh, write any English question about pronunciation, grammar, vocabulary. I'll try to answer. But please, please, please have an example sentence. Scramble, castle, 
scramble cast all bull all Kirmat Shah, what is the correct sentence? Reply me or reply to me. Uh, reply to me is the correct sentence. Reply to me. We don't say reply me. Ziad, I have problems at verb have. What is the best way to study and use it right? I don't understand the questions. I have problems at verb. What do you mean at verb? Have? The verb have? I'm not sure your problems yet. And Zakia Tun, what is the difference between we and small? I think uh, we just means very small. So Zakia, we would be an adjective uh, that would mean very small. Okay, let's move on to the next question. Anna, gross, gross or gross? I'm sorry if I mispronounce. Uh, can you explain gerund, please? So gerund is a part of grammar, of course, where you're adding uh, ing. Every gerund, uh, every gerund will end in ing. Uh, so the, uh, gerunds are very complicated. Uh, I'll have to say, cause, uh, gerunds are tricky things and they're, they're also confusing with, uh, present participles. I think they are cause present participles also end in ing. Anyway, if you have a gerund, uh, there's so many ways to make the gerund. If you have a gerund, like, uh, here, I'll put an example sentence. Let me think. You should supply the example sentence. Uh, let's say, yes. here, you give me an example sentence. Swimming. Let's use swimming. So if I put, I love swimming. Uh, so the verb there acts, make the, we, when we make the gerund, it acts more like a, a, a noun. That's the main form of gerunds. I can't think of another examples of gerunds. So the f they make the ing, the form, you take a verb, you add the ing and act like a noun. I, th I think it's too complicated because I would need to research more because I don't want to make a mistake. So Anna Gross, I'm going to say in the future, not, not tomorrow, but maybe next week would be a good time to do a video on gerunds because that's a little too complicated for a quick answer. Anyway, the simple answer, you're taking a verb, you're adding ing, ing, and it's acting like a noun. So sorry, I, I can't go into too much detail, Anna Gross, but I will do a lesson on that and talk about more detail with examples in the future, I promise, because that's a very important question. And Reina, what's the difference between were and was? Uh, so Reina, you have to know... Uh, Present tense and past tense. So present tense uh, is going to use was. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Sorry. Well, what am I crazy? What am I crazy? I'm crazy. Come 
Can we see that? All right, we can. I hope you guys can see that if you're on a phone. So we know the B verb. I am, he, she, it is, you, we are, they are. All right. Now we make it past tense. I am. I was, he was, you, we. Oh, my marker is dying. Were. All right, so very quickly, Reina, you have to know this. If you're using I, he, she, it, you're going to use was, you, we, they, were. Okay, that answers your question. Oh, Manny, how can I save, write the big words? I don't know. I don't know. I don't understand the question, oh, Manny. Peace. Thanks, I enjoyed the game. Yeah, beautiful game. Uh, I think the game was too easy. I got to get more difficult games. Kiramat Shah, I am, at, I am home or I am at home. Uh, both of those are correct. Both of those are correct. I'm home, I'm at home. Uh, I think most native speakers would probably say I'm home. I'm at home. That's okay, too. Grace, what are you writing? I am just an ugly, old, fat woman. I am beautiful, sec I am a beautiful, sexy, clever woman. How can I make correct adjective order in that example sentence? Uh, I'm an well, the adjective or order, you're going to start with uh, age. So age, uh, condition, because I, I want to say I'm an old, ugly, fat woman. So I know the order uh, unconsciously. Now I got to teach you the order. So age, old, and then the, the, the appearance, uh, is it good or bad? And then size, and then woman. I'm a beautiful, sexy, clever woman. So beautiful and sex, sexy. I'm a sexy, beautiful. I'm a beautiful, sexy. I think the order doesn't matter with beautiful and sexy. Clever, intelligence. How can I make correct adjective order in those example sentences? Uh, so I know naturally because my brain has been trained to uh, do the proper order when giving adjectives. Uh, for you, how can you learn the order? It just takes a lot of practice. When you're saying these sentences, you should not be thinking about what the order is. What do I put first? It just takes a lot of practice. And part of the practice is not starting with three or four adjectives in your sentence. Usually three or four adjectives is very strange. So usually I'm a, uh, you would say I'm a, I'm a old fat woman. So start there, old fat woman. So you would recognize old comes before fat. I'm an old fat woman. I'm an old, ugly woman. So you would practice using two adjectives for a long time. And then when you got the three adjectives or four adjectives, you would probably have a better chance of making the order. So quickly again, I know I'm taking too long. Practice with two adjectives for a long time and then move up to three. Hamza, what does it mean, tag questions? Here 
Erasing my board. So Hamza, that is a tag question. Can you see it? It's hot today. I made the statement and then I'm asking you about that statement. So tag means it's at the end of the sentence. Uh, another way to um, make this sentence is isn't, isn't it hot today? But as a tag question, the question is put at the back. Isn't it hot? It's hot today. I made the statement. Isn't it? When are the meaning of these two sentences the same? I strive for success. I try to succeed. Um, no. The difference is certainly on strive and try. So you got to know the, what strive. Strive means you really try. Okay. So strive has more power than just try. So I strive for success is a stronger statement. Basically the same meaning, but strive is stronger. So yeah, have you ever been here? I have problems with that perfect tense. Have you ever been here? Or have you ever been there? Well, you, it takes practice. And with that grammar, if you're having trouble with the grammar, I would recommend the flashcards with that grammar. So what you would do is you would practice asking, have you ever been, have you ever seen, have you ever questions? And then at the back, you would have uh, example answers. And just go through the flashcards to learn that grammar structure. That's one way. Another way is reading. Kiramat Shah, my first question was whether we could say big city, large city, or huge city are all correct. It's a big city. It's a large city. It's a huge city. I think they're all correct. Kiramat, I, I don't see any difference between big city, large city, huge city. Antika, is pangram important to learning English? What is pangram? Check over here for Google. Pangram. No, no, no. I don't think that's useful. It's fun, but I don't think you need that, Tika. Russian guy, I don't remember your name. Why is the word but is read as bat, bat? And the word put is put. They are written the same way but read differently. I can't understand this. Okay. So, Russian guy with name, I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, English, English is too old. All right, English is too old. And as a language changes, what changes, like over hundreds of years, what changes are the vowel sounds? That's the main change. So in British, English, American, or the accents, uh, Australian, British, American, the biggest difference is vowel sounds. We all spell the words the same, same way, but the, the vowel sound will be different. So... I know it's frustrating, uh, and a good example of that, off, off, just thinking quickly, Sorry. 
All right, so these words are a nightmare for students because uh, you're learning, you're learning uh, vowel sounds and spelling, and you're trying to look for patterns. You're trying to look for rules, but when you get to words like this, we have the same spelling, O M B, and. I, I'll tell you right away. So the first rule for all those is the B is silent. Okay. So then we have here, well, what does this say? Well, this is tum, tum. So the this O has a U sound, tum. And then we have com, O, com. So, ooh, oh, come on, eh? Are we joking in English? Bomb, ah, ah, ooh, oh, ah, womb, womb, back to like tomb, womb. So, as uh, students are looking for rules, you just got to know the pronunciation of these words and... Uh, sorry, uh, English is old language. Sometimes you cannot go by the spelling. Lila. Oh, I'm so far behind, guys. I got to speed up. Sorry. I'm talking too much tonight. All right, Lila. As you know, I'm weak in English. You're not weak in English. I never thought you're weak in English. So when I want to write something, the word, which I don't know, it, I return to the dictionary, but I think that's not useful. What do you think? Just try writing and try practicing new words. It's always important to start practicing new words. Kuen Loset. Hello, hello, welcome. Then, then, what is the difference of I do like it and I like it? Uh, I think... For writing, we would just say, I like it. But I think for speaking, uh, native speakers will add do for emphasis, to emphasize. I do like it. But for writing, you would just say, I like it. So the, that's more of speaking. I do like it. Anfell. How do I know the meaning of phrasal verbs? Anfell, if you're still here, you've been waiting 15 minutes for my answer. I'm very sorry. Phrasal verbs are very advanced English. Now, there are some very common uh, phrasal verbs you should know. Uh, wake up. Sit down. Uh, those are common ones. But there's thousands and thousands of phrasal verbs. How do you know the meaning? You have to read. You have to read books or watch a lot of TV or movies in English. That's the only way. You, you need exposure. You have to, because thousands of them, you cannot study lists of phrasal verbs. That does not work. You cannot study lists, lists of phrasal works, phrasal verbs. You have to hear phrasal verbs in the proper context. Okay. Here, Matt Shaw, what's the difference between compare and contrast? Are you writing an essay, Kira Matt? Compare. Uh, so a, a popular essay is compare and contrast, which basically means the same thing. If you have two things and we want to compare them, uh, we can compare what is the same. We can also compare... Uh, what is different. So if we look at these two uh, items and I compare them, they're both markers. They're both used for the whiteboard. Uh, but one is red, one is black. When you go into the contrast part, you're focusing more on the differences. All right. What is the problem of these two, uh, two things? 
So if you're writing an essay, compare and contrast, you're not writing about markers, you're writing about ideas uh, or information. So compare what is, what is similar, you could talk about the difference, contrast, what is really different, and maybe the problems because of the difference uh, in an essay. Atika Tikar, what's, what does to and fro? To and fro means there and back. Go there and back. To there, from there. To and fro. Kiramat Shi, what does paradox mean? Well, Kiramat, I'm not a dictionary, so uh, whenever people put a word, I always tell those people, you go to the dictionary and you come back with an example sentence about your life, and I will fix it. Yola B, hello. So yeah, sometimes I come, but sometimes I comes with were like if I were you. I don't understand that, Ziad. Aaron Fernandez, welcome. I read in an American song, is you and not are you. Can I use it informally? No. Uh, American songs are great for listening and learning some uh, colloquial speaking expressions. But I do not want you to, nobody here, I don't want you to learn how to speak from American songs. They, they use a lot of bad grammar, probably the worst grammar you can find in American songs. So they're, they're, they are a way to learn, but I, I really don't want you to start saying, is you, uh, you should continue to say, are you? So uh, why are the American songs using bad grammar? I don't know. I'm just an English teacher. I'm not a uh, record producer. But be careful. Don't say is you. Uh. Catalino Garcia, teacher, one question. Can you give me some tips when we use do and make? Uh, so you're asking about the verbs do and make. You do homework. You do exercise. And there's so many things you, do, you have to do. Uh, I can't think of a list of everything you do and make. You make a cake. You make your bed. Uh, it's up to you, Catalino Garcia, to uh, find lists on the internet and practice making sentences. There's so many. There's so many things you can do and make. Cure Matt, please use in a sentence panic and panicky. What's the difference? Well, Cure Matt, please, you try to use those in a sentence and bring them back here. Oh, how can we answer for tag question, Grace? It's hot. Uh, today is hot. Statement. Isn't it? Isn't it? So you have two choices, yes or no? Yes. It is. No, it isn't. Is it hot today? Well, it's hot today, isn't it? Yes, it is. No, it isn't. So just follow the grammar of the question. It's using it and it's using is, the B verb. There can be other tag questions. Uh, she drives well, doesn't she? Yes, she does. All right, Lila, is there any difference between tortoise and turtle? No.
There's a little difference. Mm, scoring. Uh, okay. I didn't know. Tortoise lives on land and the turtle lives in the water. There's the difference. Tortoise lives on land, turtle lives in water. That's not really an English question. That's more of a science question, but that's your answer. Uh, sometimes, Kirima, sometimes surfing the TV channels, it appears scramble. What does that mean here? Scramble means mixed, like scrambled egg. If you like to eat scrambled eggs, mix, mix, words scramble, mix. Kiramat, you got so many questions. What does promiscuous mean? Please explain a little detail. Well, again, I'm not a dictionary, uh, Kiramat, so what I want you to do is you put an example sentence here. Everyone, don't ask me what a word means. I'm not the dictionary. Try, go to the dictionary, learn what the word means, come back, put an example sentence, and I'll help you out. Grace, if I were you, I would buy a red car. Even if I were you, I would buy a red car. What is the difference in those questions? So... That's tricky, Grace. But interesting question. That's a very interesting question, Grace. Interesting question. I'm going to make a statement. Everyone should be watching uh, this, your question here. It's very interesting. Make sure we can see that. If you're on your phone, maybe you can't see that. Uh, I wrote on the board, I will blow, I'm losing my English. I will buy a blue car. So Grace, your first sentence, if I, you were giving me kind of advice or suggestion, you would say, it, I said, I will buy a, a blue car. And you said, oh, if I were you, I would buy a red car. Okay. So you don't agree with my opinion. And you said, if you were me, you would buy a red car, not a blue car. Now. The second one is really different. <laughs> I gotta think a little second. Even if I were you, I would buy a red car. Well, that could work. My example is not good, Grace. That's again the problem. I'll put that back. And the, the second example, even if I were you, I would buy a red car, which would, would, if I said I will buy a red car, you're kind of agreeing that even if you were me, you would, you would make the same decision. Uh, but not every case. I can't think of every case, but so the first one, you disagree with my decision and you're giving a suggestion. The second one, you agree with my decision. Uh, that's, that's not the perfect answer, but it's a quick answer. Jida, hello. All right, I'm very behind, guys. I'm gonna start going fast. Oh yeah, Ferris. Entrepreneur, Kiramat, entrepreneur. Here, Matt, can we call one room in an apartment or hotel or house a suite or it must be two or three rooms? A suite, I don't know the definition of a suite, but a suite is usually a big uh, room. Uh, 
it's usually in a hotel and it's it's usually like a little house i mean there's a kitchen there's a it's it's good for living a uh, long term maybe there's a microwave maybe so that's usually in a hotel a suite and i don't think it has to be two or three rooms it can be but it doesn't have to be tika how to pronounce least least there's a t least less less Okay, I'm going to speed up a little more. Call Ferris. Okay, you're talking about the tomb, t comb, okay. Grace. Grace, what is a good way to check my sentences that I made by own, my, made by myself, correct or not? After I get new vocabulary, I want to make my own example sentence. Grace, I'm here every night. You can make all kinds of new sentences with grammar if you're not sure, or new vocabulary. If you're not sure, bring them here. So I'm a good tool for everyone. Use me every night. I'm a little slow today. I think Today is my slowest day, but I'll, I'll try to get faster. Oh, so Kiermat, what does the phrasal verb live off mean? Well, Kiermat, the problems with phrasal verbs is usually they have multiple meanings. So live off can have two, three, four meanings depending on the context, okay? So I can't help you unless I have context. You have to give me an example sentence, and then I'll tell you what it means. And Lila, what is the difference? Thank you for correcting me. Thank you for, cor uh, for your correction. Uh, th they mean the same thing, but I think thank you for correcting. Well, both are okay. Both are okay. Thank you for correcting me. Thank you for your correction. Tika Tikar, bye, Dad. I'm not your dad. <laughs> Grace, give an example sentence, to and fro. Uh, I don't use to and fro. I know what it means, but let's see. What, what kind of example is it? You, you should provide me with an example sentence. To and fro. Mm. To and fro could mean a back and forth. The boat is moving me to and fro. Yeah, it's, yeah, I don't use that. I can't really help you, Grace, because uh, I'm looking at some examples here, and they, they, it just seems weird. So if you can give me an example of to and fro. My lovers, welcome. You're late, and I'm answering you 10 minutes, 11 minutes late. Thank you if you're still around. Hang Tong, what are the difference between always, usually, sometimes? These are adverbs of frequency. So adverbs of frequency, they have different powers. The most powerful is always, which is 100%. Usually, next time, let's think about 80%. And sometimes, uh, maybe 50%. Okay, so the power of those words, always, is very powerful. Sometimes, not so powerful. Cure Matt, when will you come on come online? When will you get online? Which one is correct sentence? Both of those are correct, Cure Matt. We have a party today, so So yeah, and you explained past tense was and where you said I come with was usually, but sometimes comes with were, for example, if I were you. I would eat, uh, that's an if statement. So yeah, 
I encounter this problem every uh, live stream. You guys are always looking for the the perfect rules of English. No, there's so many exceptions to every rule. That's that's what makes my job difficult here because you ask a question and I got to think of all the exceptions. You want the rule and I'll try to give you a basic rule, but there's always exceptions. Always exception. So if we're using the if statement, well, let's see. I gotta check. Uh... Yeah, if we're using with if statements, I'm not. I'm, I can't check that into detail to find all the rules of when we use I were, but yeah, you're gonna learn. English does not have strict rules. There's so many exceptions. Sorry, I gotta move on. Jonathan Jules, hello. Kiri Matt, don't panic. Don't need to panic. No need to panicky, okay? I'm in a panic. I am panicky. All right, so thank you very much, Kiri Matt Shah. You provided me with some example sentences. Don't panic. So calm down. Don't panic. No need to panic, okay? And then there's one mistake. No need, here, I'll write it here. We would say no need to be panicky. I'm in a panic, I am panicky. And uh, tell me, honorable teacher, is there any mistake in these sentences? I told you the mistake. And you can see uh, panic is your verb and panicky is your adjective. Kiramat, he is promiscuous. What does it mean? I don't know, Kiramat. Can you give a better example sentence? That example sentence is so basic. Tika. Okay, see you. She's probably already gone. Yeah, you guys leave, but it takes me 10 minutes to find out. But don't leave if you ask a question. If you ask a question, please wait 10 minutes. Kiramat, he lives off my money. Okay, now I understand. He lives off my money. So if I have a son and he has no job and he's always asking for my money, he lives off my money. That means he has no money. And that's a correct sentence. All, all children live off their parents. They don't have jobs. They need money from their parents. Kiramat, do you live off someone? Or do you have a job and make your own money? Grace, meanwhile, if you are from K Korea, not Korean, you must be using Kako Talk, right? Or not? Yep. Question mark. I don't think, meanwhile... Oh, you're using meanwhile. Yeah, meanwhile does. Meanwhile is a time time reference or time expression, meaning this action is happening. Meanwhile means another action is happening. Uh, I'm doing a live stream. Uh, meanwhile, I'm also checking Google. That's the terrible, terrible example. And you said the native speaker says that. Uh, I, I would have to see the before sentence because meanwhile, without talking about two actions, the before sentence must have had an action and he's also uh, responding. Meanwhile, all right, I got to move on, Grace. Kiermat, what is the modal verb? That is the auxiliary verb, and there's 15 of them, the helper verbs. 
You type in modal verb in Google, and really, you want me to do that for you? I'm not going to do that. That's your can, could, may, should. All of that is your modal verb. Lila, I am on the way to go home. I am on my way to go home. Both of those are correct. Yeah, meanwhile, I need more information, Grace. Hannah, how can you keep all grammar rules in your head, Ram? No, I don't keep all grammar rules in my head. And the two sentences about red cars was a terrible example. I do my best, but... I can't think of, uh, yeah, guys, if you give me example sentences, I will give you better answers. If I have to think of the example sentences, I usually think of stupid example sentences. So, uh, and I don't keep all the grammar rules in my head, especially talking. Uh, there's one thing you guys don't know is that, uh, when, when people say bad words or they attack me, I can see it in the chat. So sometimes people are writing very bad things and I got to read it. And then sometimes my mind is not thinking about English. I'm thinking about this bad guy and I got to kick him out. So that causes problems sometimes too, because someone asks a question, but I'm not really thinking about the question. I'm thinking about some bad comment, uh, and sometimes I give a really bad explanation to their question. But I'm trying here. I'm trying. Uh, if I give a bad exp explanation to a question, uh, again, you guys go find the example sentences, bring them back, and I can help out. All right. Uh, Zakia Tun. Anna is a zany person. Good word. She makes me happy sometimes. Is it a correct? Is it a correct sentence? So your sentences are 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 fine, but your question has a problem because you need the a. Ah. Is it a correct sentence? Yeah, Grace. Give me example sentences. Of meanwhile. What time does this lofty guy? What time does this show finish? Is this sentence correct? That's correct. What time does this show finish? Are you asking me about the question or are you asking about my show? This show is 24 hours. Kiramat, he is sitting before me. Mm -hmm. He is sitting in front of me. Which one is correct? Both of them are correct. So yeah, thanks a lot. Okay, maybe you're gone. And are we out of questions? All right, if we're out of questions, I'll help more with the grace and meanwhile. I'll get some uh, example sentence. And here's a good example sentence, Grace. Oh, you put one. Meanwhile, no. So if you look at my example sentence, we have a time event. Uh, Carl's starting college in September. This is our first time event. We need that. We have our first time event. Uh, meanwhile, uh, now, let's see. All right, so meanwhile can have two meanings. This is the first time event, and before the other time event, he's doing something. That can be meanwhile. So the first, or sorry, the future time event, he's starting college. Before that, he's traveling in Europe. That can be meanwhile. Meanwhile, which I was explaining earlier, means happening at the same time. And I'll put an example there. 
Oh, that didn't work. Oh, uh. And actually, Grace, this is a whole video. Maybe I'll do that. So here's another example, Grace. You can set the table. We have our first time event. And meanwhile, at the same time, I'll start cooking dinner. All right. So any case, you have two, two time events. Uh, the first case before, before the event was meanwhile. And in this case, it's at the same time. How do I know when to use before or at the same time? It depends on the context. Uh, so going back to your sentence, oh, Raina, by let's go to your sentence. Uh, where did where we? So I was. Yeah, I'm gonna fix your sentence. So this one is talking about the same time. You want to you want to say your first. Your first time event, I was studying Korean. Meanwhile, Robin was studying English, okay? You don't want to uh, start a sentence with meanwhile. So I would have to see your chat with that guy, guy, uh, to know what he was talking about. All right, Lila, when I was at university, in the meanwhile, I met my favorite friend, is this correct or not? That is not correct. Oh, wait. When I was at university... Uh, when I was at university, in the meanwhile... That's not correct, and I, I'm, I'm kind of trying to make it correct. Omani is back. Welcome back, Omani. When I was at university, in the meanwhile... I met my favorite friend. Is this correct or not? No. Um, I'm going to say because you're at the university. Uh, well, maybe you guys showed me today that I'm not an expert. And meanwhile, I thought I was, but I'm not. Meanwhile. Yeah, Lila, that's that's wrong, and I can't tell you why right now because I think I'm tired. When I was at university, if you take out the meanwhile, that that's a correct sentence. You would say, "When I was at university, I met my favorite friend." That's correct. Maybe try another uh, example, Lila. When I watch your live stream, meanwhile you answer our questions. Yeah. Okay, I'm reading now. Meanwhile tends to be used more in writing than speaking, but we use it in speaking, but it's used... But you, uh, lofty guy. Oh, sorry, lofty guy. What time do you usually call it a day? Uh, usually, usually around midnight, which is in about five minutes. I got it, lofty guy. Sorry. So thank you, lofty guy, repeating it. All right. Uh, I think that's the solution is to do a live stream about meanwhile in the future. Meanwhile, so I will do that in the future. Samuel, we had a game and now this is English Q&A. Yeah, no, you don't bother me. You guys are showing me, uh, you know, I have to be able to explain meanwhile, meanwhile a better way because if I do the live streams uh, you know people are gonna ask that always and I have I have to be able to give a good answer and I didn't give a good enough answer today I'm disappointed in my answer so I will probably uh,
prepare a better answer for next time. Uh, Kira, Matt, what does think in English mean? How and what should one... Oh, yeah. A lot of teachers say you should think in English. That's not easy to think in English, but it is possible to think in English. Now, I don't think you really think in English. Just you say some English expressions so much that you don't have to think. You just say it. You know the your brain knows the exact expression. I don't think people there you sit and try to think in English. Uh, I would say to get automatic English. Your brain gets automatic English. So uh, a good example is if you make a mistake and you go, oops. Okay, so a native speaker, if they make a mistake, they're going to go, oops. So that's a reaction. It's immediate. Now, if you are thinking English or you're automatic English, if you made a mistake and you went, oops, without thinking, uh, that's kind of the goal you want with all of English, without thinking. You just know the proper uh, explanation, the proper words to use. I know a lot of uh, YouTubers, you should think in English, but uh, that's, you. do you think in your own language? Thinking is uh, such a strange thing. Thanks, Robin. My respect for all that you do for us. Well, Hannah, thank you. And uh, as I remind everyone, uh, this is a lot of work. And please support the channel so I can bring in uh, better teachers. Teachers that can teach meanwhile in one sentence. <laughs> please support or like the video. If you haven't liked the video, please like the video now. And of course, subscribe to the channel. Grace, yeah, yeah, no, I'm fine, Grace, thank you. Oh, Prakar, you're still here? <laughs> uh, honey, I will cook dinner now. Meanwhile, would you please empty the trash can? Yeah, that would be a really good way to use meanwhile. Honey, I will cook dinner now. Meanwhile, would you please empty the trash? Yes, at the same time. Lila, Robin, you should finish the live stream. Yeah, I'll finish it in a few minutes. I'll just finish up these questions. Get your last questions in. Zakia, meanwhile, Mr. Robin, we don't want to start a sentence with meanwhile. You never want to start a sentence with meanwhile. Meanwhile should go in the middle. So... Robin was playing a game. Meanwhile, the students were cheating. That's what happened today. But sometimes I talk to myself in English. Good for you, Grace. You talk to yourself, but do you think? Do you think in in your own language? You know, when you're thinking, it's a complete. It's not. It's a not a language. It's something else. When you're thinking, talking, yeah, talk to yourself. If you automatically talk to yourself, great. Thanks a ton, Robin. Okay. Diallo, think. I I think think I think think. Think. I say it one way. All right. Let's know. Any last questions? Any last questions? Now, past.
past midnight. We're it's Saturday. I'm just checking. Uh, okay. What are you guys going to do? What are you doing tomorrow, Grace? Lila, are you still here? What time is it in your country? You're gonna. I, yeah, I'm gonna close this up in about two minutes. Ah, uh, I no, I'm not confident that you've learned. Meanwhile, Grace, I will do a live stream one day on the mean. Well, meanwhile, it's also connected with in the meantime. All right, guys, I'll finish up. Thank you for watching. Yeah, you guys can notice I'm getting tired because there was some really good questions and some really difficult questions. Grace, get off. Bye. See you, Grace. Thank you, everyone, and uh, see you tomorrow for our lesson on prepositions. Okay, bye, guys.